Turn in your Bibles, please, to Acts chapter 8, verses 18 through 25. If you're visiting with us, the best thing to do is to go ahead and open that Bible and just follow along as we try to explain and apply the text of Scripture, adding uh, nothing foreign to its meaning. So let me start with a, a question. What is, it, what is required in order to be a communing member of this church? Or, uh, and there would be something similar that we said about being a member of any church. Well, it's pretty simple. You need to be able to make a credible profession of faith, be baptized, and then have habits of life that are consistent with what you profess to be true of you. Uh, well, who is to evaluate whether or not your profession of faith is a credible one? Well, that goes to the leadership of the church. Uh, well, uh, what do they do? Well, they, they listen to the testimony. They pay some attention to habits of life, conduct, and try to establish if it's a credible claim to have faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. And, well, then I want to ask, is the process infallible? Well, it's not. We, the leadership of the church has a very limited capacity to evaluate uh, those who come to us uh, for membership. Um, there are mistakes that are made. The, the unbelieving even are accepted into the communing membership of the church. Unconverted people are baptized. Yes, mistakes are made. And they've been made from the very beginning. We see this with uh, Simon, uh, this uh, magician who was brought into the life and was what we would call a member of good standing and baptized into the